Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at equations in two variables. So an equation in two variables usually use the variables x and y. Well, we want to look at what a solution is when we have an equation in two variables. And a solution consists of two numbers, one for each variable, which can be expressed as an ordered pair. So usually you would see that as the ordered pair x, y. So let's look at a couple of examples. Here we're going to determine whether the ordered pair is a solution to the given equation. Well, to decide if it's a solution, we need to plug in that ordered pair into the given equation and verify that it's a true statement. So here we have the equation y minus 6x equals negative 1. And we're given the ordered pair 1 half, 2. 1 half is our x value and 2 is our y value. So we plug those values in for x and y. So our y is 2 minus 6 times our x value of 1 half equals negative 1. Now we want to check that this actually equals negative 1. If both sides are equal, then we know that this ordered pair is in fact a solution. So let's do the math. Well, we keep the 2 and then minus 6 times 1 half, that's 3, equals negative 1. Well, 2 minus 3, yeah, that's negative 1. And does negative 1 equal negative 1? Yes, it does. So, yes, this is in fact a solution to that equation. Let's look at example 2. Here we have 4x minus y equals negative 13. And we're given the ordered pair, negative 2, 3. So x is negative 2 and y is 3. We plug those into our equation. So 4 times x, which is negative 2, minus y, which is 3. And we're checking, does this actually equal negative 13? Well, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, minus 3 equals negative 13. Well, negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. Does negative 11 equal negative 13? Not the last time I checked. So the answer here is no. This ordered pair, negative 2, 3, is not a solution to that equation. Now, what if we're given an equation and we need to come up with possible solutions? This is where we would make a table of solutions. So a table is used to list possible solutions to an equation. So example one here wants us to use the given values of the variable, so these values for x, to make a table of solutions for the given equation, y equals x plus four over two. So first let's make a table. We need x and y, right? Those are our variables. Let's make our table. And then we're given four x values to use. Negative 8, negative 4, 0, and 4. Now what we do is we plug each of those x values in individually into the given equation and we solve for y. So for the first one, y equals negative 8 plus 4 over 2. Well, negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So we have negative 4 over 2. And negative 4 over 2 simplifies to negative 2. So y here is negative 2. And notice that because we have an x and a y, this is actually the same as the point negative 8, negative 2. So let's look at the second value x equals negative 4. We use the same process. So y equals negative 4 plus 4 over 2. Negative 4 plus 4, that's 0. And 0 divided by 2? Well, remember, if you have 0 cookies and you divide it among two friends, you all still get 0 cookies. So it's 0. Now, the third example, y for x equals 0. So we plug in x equals 0 
and we get y equals 0 plus 4 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which simplifies to just 2. And then the last value of x, 4. So y equals 4 plus 4 over 2, or 8 over 2, and 8 over 2 is 4. So again, remember that each of these, even this last one, is the same as the ordered pair for 4. So each of these gives us 4 points, or 4 possible solutions for that equation. So let's look at specifically linear equations. Linear is a line, right? So linear equations in two variables are always straight lines. So to find the solutions, you're going to select three or four convenient values of x. So you want to pick values of x that are going to be easy for you to plug in and solve for a y value. Remember, you can choose any numbers for your x values because then you insert that x value and calculate the y value that goes with it. So step two is calculating the y value for each of the x values that you chose. Then step three, you use that table you've created and it gives you points, as we just saw in the previous example. We're gonna plot those points. Remember, it's linear, so they should form a straight line. And then we're going to connect the dots. So let's go through that whole four-step process with this example, y equals one-third x. Well, we're gonna make a table. And remember, when we make our table, we wanna pick values for x that are convenient. Well, the most convenient value for x is always zero. So we're gonna use zero. And I'm gonna put that in the middle because I like to always pick negative value and a positive value. Since we have the fraction one-third, we want to multiply by a three, or some multiple of three, to get rid of that fraction. So that gives us our other convenient values. We can use a positive three, and we can use a negative three. Because now, when we plug in negative three for our x, we get y equals one-third times negative three which remember is the same as negative three over one. So this simplifies to negative one. See, convenient. And look, we plug in zero, y equals one third times zero. Anything times zero is zero. Another convenient choice. And then the third point, we plug in the value three for x and we get y equals one third times three, or y equals one. And then remember, each of these gives us a point. So this first one is the point negative three, negative one. So if we start at the origin, we go left three and down one. The second value, zero, zero, is the point zero, zero, which is just our origin. And then the third one is the point three, one. So from the origin, we count over three and up one. And there we have our three dots. And now the best part, the easiest part, connect those dots. And look at that, we ended up with a straight line. So the standard form for a linear equation in two variables is usually ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all constants. Remember a constant is a number. And a and b are not both equal to zero. One of them can be zero, but not both. And this graph, because it's linear equation, is a line. 
This standard form, ax plus by equals c, can be difficult to create a table of solutions, so it's easiest if you solve for y first. So we're going to solve the given equation, 5x minus 4y equals 20, for y. So to do that, we want y on the left-hand side, so let's subtract the 5x. And remember, anything you do on the left, you must do on the right. So when we subtract 5x from the left, those cancel out, and we get negative 4y equals negative 5x plus that 20. Now we still want to isolate y, and we have negative 4 multiplied to it, so we need to divide all three of the terms by negative 4. So divide this by negative 4, this term by negative 4, and the last term by negative 4. Well, negative 4 divided by negative 4 simplifies to 1, so we're left with just a y. And then we have negative 5x divided by negative 4. The negative simplify to a positive, so we get 5 fourths x. And then we have positive 20 divided by negative 4, which is negative 5. So now that we've rewritten this linear equation in terms of y, we can make a chart. So remember, we want to pick three convenient values of x and solve for y. And remember, the most convenient value is 0. So let's put 0 in the middle. And then when you have a fraction, the next most convenient value is usually that denominator. Since our denominator is 4, our convenient value then is going to be 4. So 4 and negative 4. Now, we just need to substitute each of those x values in to find the corresponding y. So for the first one, y equals 5 fourths times negative 4 minus 5. Well, 5 fourths times negative 4 becomes just negative 5. So negative 5 minus 5 equals negative 10. So this gives us the point negative 4, negative 10. Now we plug in 0. y equals 5 fourths times 0 minus 5. 5 fourths times 0 is just 0 minus 5, so we get negative 5 for our y. And then our last point, y equals 5 fourths times 4 minus 5. 5 fourths times 4 is 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So now we have our three points, and we need to plot our three points. But notice that my grid isn't big enough to go to negative 10 for the y values. So we're going to change the units here so that each tick mark represents 2. So we have negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and then this one is negative 10. And we'll do the same for the positive. So this one's a positive 10. But for x, we can leave those as just 1. They don't have to be the same. So we'd have 5 and negative 5. So now we can plot each of our points. So our first point is negative 4, negative 10. So negative 4 left 4 down to negative 10. OK, our second point is 0, negative 5. So we don't move left or right, we just go down 5. So we have 2, 4, and it's right here in the middle. And then our third point is 4, 0. So we have to go right 4, and we do not go up or down. So there we have our three points, and we connect those dots. And look at that, we have a straight line. So now we've graphed 5x minus 4y equals 20. 
Have a question or a problem you want help with? Leave it in the comments and I'll include it in one of my videos. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more math tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.